I'm Jason Wexler, president of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. I'm responsible for the business of the team and the arena. A key component of that is how the Wi-Fi functions because it impacts everything you do as a fan from the second you walk in the building till you leave the building. How you scan your tickets, whether or not you place a bet on your phone, taking a picture of yourself at the game, posting it on social media got broadcast, you've got your media in the building, you've got your food and beverage vendors, you've got your merchandise vendors. So when I'm dealing with Wi-Fi, it's at a 10,000 foot level. Daryl can explain everything you need to know about how and why it works. Hi, Daryl DeRosa here, Principal Wireless Engineer for the Memphis Grizzlies, responsible for Wi-Fi here at the FedEx Forum. The building's about 20 years old right now. The initial cable infrastructure was laid out by an RCDD. We've got our MDF, we've got a bunch of IDFs, we've got about 25 different cable locations that have fiber directly back to the MDF. In those IDFs and in the MDF, we've got over 200 Unify switches. Throughout the arena, we've got over 300 access points, about 400 cameras, and 20 UNVR pros, and that's just from the arena. We also have our admin building. When we started looking at different access points and what to put in the bowl, the UWB was an easy selection for us. It has adjustable beam width, so we can go from 90 degrees to 50 degrees, and as a result, we're able to cover about 80 to 90 percent of the bowl just by having a, our APs on the scoreboard pointing at the lower bowl, and then on the upper bowl, we have catwalk APs pointing down. We see speeds up to about two gig maybe two and a half. So we're actually seeing great performance from the Unify system. With Design Center, we're able to lay out the entire infrastructure for our admin building and our arena. Before we spend a single dollar, before we lay a single cable, we've got our floor plans in the tool. We've got our access points laid out. We've got our switches laid out and our cameras laid out. We know exactly where everything's gonna go. We know exactly how much the entire project's gonna cost. We just execute, we get the cables pulled, our installers are able to mount everything, and we're just able to configure it and bring it online. We are using Protect for our camera systems. We're using Connect for our digital signage. We're using Access as it relates to getting into the IDFs and other locations throughout the building. This location, we're on the event level supporting our basketball operations. We cannot have any failures here. So what we have is when we need one, we have a second of everything. That starts with power. This uh, top, PDU or Power Distribution Pro connects all of our primary sources for our switches. And our second one here is connected to a different power source that feeds our RPS or redundant power supply. We have our EFG or Enterprise Fortress Gateway. That device is similar to the Dream Machine, but it's much more powerful. What it does is it provides management and monitoring for all our network devices in the building. We've got two 10 gig internet connections that are coming into this. It can go all the way up to 25 gig on this thing. We've got fiber uplinks that go to the core and they also feed all of our switches. We've got the Pro Max switches here and we're using ether lighting here. So we can quickly see what VLAN each device is in. We've got our NVR Pro and that handles all of the protect cameras that are in this quadrant. Next, we've got our mission critical switch here and that mission critical switch provides connectivity for the things that cannot fail. So if the power were to go out in the building or just in this location, we can still get into the closet and take care of what needs to happen. And we've also got the U7 Pro here so that when we're working in this area, we have flawless connectivity just like the rest of the building. So now that we've talked about how Ubiquity fits in from a technology standpoint, let's have Jason Wexler talk to you about why it makes sense for the Memphis Grizzlies from the business standpoint. When my folks come to me and say, we need new technology, you know, what I dread is whether or not it's gonna scale right, what are the hidden backend costs gonna be that I'm gonna get dinged with later? Because one thing we all know is that in an arena, in large scale venues, Wi-Fi uses and needs are not gonna stabilize or diminish over time. They're only gonna continue to grow. So we wanted to work with a product that would continue to grow with us, would continue to grow with our needs, and would continue to function on an outstanding basis with those needs.